Hello, world. Is the words I believed that Brian Kernigan wrote um, on the uh, with the programming language that was developed by Martin Richards and uh, has become sort of a uh, uh, a staple for for programmers worldwide and um, a great way of introducing or testing something. So underscore print hello world but in this case I will say hello void because I am screaming into the void at the moment this is my first YouTube video um, I hope you enjoy it I'm an artist based in South Africa I uh, I like to draw I like to sketch m most of the time and uh, with the uh, the global crisis that is COVID um, and recent events I've been trying to look for a new hobby or to take my hobby a step further so welcome um, I hope you enjoy what you see here and hopefully my my dull monotone voice would either lull you to a glorious sleep or will provide you with some soothing conversation while I try to sketch something so I was thinking about my uh, my YouTube channel or what to do so I already have more or less a name for it I just need to find out what to draw it's so difficult sometimes um, this is something a lot of artists that struggle with if you're not an artist yourself you would probably know if you are an artist you probably know exactly what I'm talking about and that is sometimes finding the motivation to draw especially if you're not a professional and you're just doing it as as a hobby or for fun but anyway I'm getting sidetracked but so I figured I, I'd start a channel where I make my sketches and then just talk about uh, stuff, you know, stuff in general, stuff that intrigues me, uh, stuff that might interest you. Um, this is something else that I do like. So I, I, I'm, I'm quite active in my reading of politics, religion, art, and whatnot. Well, not as active as I used to be, but anyway, let me let me try to draw something here. Question is just what. So, it's it's been very hard for me to draw th these last few months. Um, recent events has made it very difficult to find any motivation or to try and focus on on what to draw, or what to do. And uh, as most artists, I'm my toughest critic. So. Um, usually when I draw something I either hate it or I just think it looks terrible. Um, that's something a lot of artists I think struggle, especially younger artists who are um, who are new to drawing or that haven't explored as much who want to get into drawing and it's 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 not something that's easy and I don't know. My other problem is that I, I tend to draw the same thing over and over which is skulls because I I I I like the darkness of skulls. Like I like dark art in general. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with H.R. Uh, Geiger, um, Hans Rudolf Geiger. Uh, you would know him as the creator of Alien. Um, so he he made the art for that, as far as I understand. And you have people like like Frank Frazetta, whom they deem the godfather of fantasy art, and it's easy to understand why the, the man is phenomenal. Uh, as stories go, he was a prodigy at a very young age. Um, I think, uh, as the story goes, he used to draw a lot at his grand's house. And he would draw so much that there wasn't any paper left in the house. At some point, his gran would bring him toilet paper to sketch on. <laughs> Although, I'm, I'm not sure of my, source, my sources on this, so um, do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so uh, back to the dark art, but like people like Hans Rudolf Geiger and um, oh, uh, Begzinski. I, I can't remember his name. Um, I'm probably butchering it, but he was this this dark surrealist painter who had these very war themed uh, paintings. Um, also a, a big inspiration of mine. Um, so th that's the type of things that I like. Um, you know, dark, creepy, and I think I think that. It just links with more or less how I how I feel about life. Um, so this this constant reminder that things things aren't always great, that things things can go wrong, and I think that's more prevalent even now. Um, I, 
right, we're in a very dark time at the moment with COVID and with um, like global tensions and like uh, like I feel sorry for the, uh, the people in America. It's a lot of stuff going on there now, uh, especially recently. But I don't want to go into too much politics. Um, I do enjoy discussing politics. Uh, I find it very in intriguing, but. Um, I've been told on several occasions that uh, people don't like it when I discuss politics and I think it's not a great introduction for my first video but you know I'm not trying to I'm not trying to worry too much about about what I say on this video because uh, like I said in the beginning I'm just screaming into the void it's my first video just to just to get me started just to just to get me comfortable with the idea of, of recording my sketches. Um, some of my friends have recommended that I start like streaming or start like recording my sketching, um, but I was always dead scared of it because he, there are people on social media that are so good, um, and which I find extremely intimidating. So um, some of the, to name a few examples, uh, people like uh, Karl Kapinski. Um, who's done art for for Games Work Gamers Workshop? Who you'll know for the Warhammer series, and he's also done uh, some work for Wizards of the Coasts, for uh, Magic: The Gathering. Um, he's a guy that's he's so humble and just a really cool guy with, with exquisite talent and somebody I look up to. Um, but it's it's just so daunting to see what they can achieve. And um, it can be demotivating sometimes. As inspiring as it is, um, it can be demotivating. And you have other like like mad lads like um, Kim uh, what Kim Jong Gi. Uh, I apologize if I'm not saying that correctly, but um, he is. Uh, if I think he's Korean, um, but he has this this massive visual library just inside his head. And then when he when he sketches, he does these shows. We'll just sketch in front of people, and it's just. It's just amazing. It's just amazing to see what that guy can do from from imagination alone. And he's also he's got a good sense of humor. He's he's a quite a funny guy. Um, uh, and he's also a teacher, which is very admirable because that's also something that I think um, a lot of people don't always appreciate is is having the ability to teach, um, especially if you're someone like Karl Kapinski or or like Kim Jong Gi who 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 share their knowledge and their experience because that that allows other people that want to get into it like me you know people that are impatient <laughs> and don't want to put in the work um, it allows us to learn faster because then we we already get to know what took them years to know and by understanding it we become better artists ourselves okay but I'm uh, just because you listen to a to a guy teaching. If you don't absorb that knowledge, you don't practice, you're still not necessarily going to be a good artist. But anyway, oh, this is looking terrifying as well. I'm channeling my inner Hans Geiger here, you know, the big alien head. I have no idea why. Don't ask me. I'm just trying to draw something for my first video. Um, but yeah, um, whoever's watching, uh, thank you if you're still here. Uh, hopefully I haven't bored you too much. Um, but yeah, so I hope whoever's watching, I hope you are safe. I hope things are going well for you and that you are indeed having a good old time. I sure as hell I'm not, <laughs> but you know what this this is calming to an extent because at this point, like okay i'm not I'm not an avid youtuber or anything. um this is my first video after all, but this does feel a little strange. It does feel like, like I'm just sketching and talking to myself. That's why I like the idea of, of the void, you know, screaming into the void. Sometimes you'll get an answer, and that's also terrifying. Yeah, now, there are pretty a lot of talented people out there, and if you're like me and you, you don't necessarily like... like I, I do have some drawing ability, I, I'm, I'm willing to say that, that I, I, I can I can do a few things, I'm, I'm not... I'm not terrible. I've I've some experience when it comes to drawing. Uh, although digital art is quite new to me, um, I think this is probably like my fourth digital sketch ever. <laughs> um, my first one was a project that I did for school. 
and uh, my second and third were just something was when I wanted to try doing my art style for um, for Instagram. Uh, of co of course you can you can follow me to Instagram. I'll add the link in the description if you're interested in seeing some of my work. It's not going to be all that great as I'm, I'm only trying now to uh, do it at a more professional standard. But for now, this is just casual fun. It's just me in the void, having a little talk. That reminds me, like if I'm not sure if you guys. I'm saying you guys, I don't even have subscribers, lol, <laughs> okay. Well, to whomever's watching, kind lady or gentleman, um, there's this show called Midnight Gospel. Um, it was, uh, it was, I, I don't remember everyone that was involved, but I do remember one particular name, whom I'm sure a lot of people would know, and that would be Pendleton Ward, whom you'll know from the, uh, the Adventure Time. Uh, shows. So um, he had a, a hand in the creative process, as I understand it. And it's about this this one dude. I can't remember his name because I, I I burned through it. It was just it was it was so intriguing. But anyway, um, it was about this one guy who had this little like intergalactic radio show, and he would go into these these weird dimensions and just have these interviews in the strangest of conditions. And you know what? Um, not that I'm comparing this to a zombie apocalypse or anything. If you've watched the first episode, you will understand that. Uh, but it does kind of feel like... I, I think he only had like one listener, but... Um, it's like, like, why are you doing this? Is, is, is anybody listening? Is anybody out there? <laughs> and this is kind of what it feels like, just screaming into the void and hoping there'll be an answer, but you know they won't necessarily be one. So, yeah. Well, we've already made quite a, a bit of progress. This doesn't look too bad. It, I, even if I have to say so myself, could could be a little bit better. I like creepy things, but I, th I think I've made that clear. Um, but now we just need to try and work on making it look a bit more realistic. So I, I'm still, I, I don't have my fundamentals down, I'm not going to lie. As an artist, I still have a lot to learn in terms of perspective, in terms of anatomy, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, shading. As you probably have gotten from this, I do not know how to do tones. Uh, and the fact that it's black and white should also probably tell you that I am dead scared of c using color <laughs> in any sh way, shape or form. But, um, yeah, I, I still have a lot to learn myself. Um, so this is this is quite daunting, and uh, uh, I must say a little humbling because I'm bearing my soul to the void. Well, not really. Let's not be dramatic, but um, uh, I I do hope someone out there watches this, e even if they just watch like the beginning and find the conversation in just interesting and that, that that as long as someone enjoys it I think it was Markiplier or, or was it PewDiePie? I don't know I, some some YouTuber who, who has a lot has a large following who um, who said that look as, as long as as long as you even if it's just one person one person you you make a good impression with then you've done something remarkable. It means you've you've touched one person's soul or heart, and that should already be that's already something you should be proud of, because you've you've might have made a difference. So I will find solace in that. That maybe there's one person out there who who will listen to what to what intrigues me, what I find curious, and who will will take something from it and who will appreciate it. It's okay, now I'm just trying to add some highlights. Uh, I could go a bit dark with my shadows too. So let's let's go with that eye. Let's make that a little bit darker. So um what I I've been I've been doing these type of sketches uh, traditionally for a while. I do I used to do a lot of traditional sketching. Um, where I, I've been challenging myself to do um, like one-directional light, 
sketches. So you have like uh, you have a piece of light coming from one direction, and uh, and you use that for uh, as reference. And then you try. It, then you need to like try and guess like where where's the light going to be the sharpest? Where is it going to fade? And we can assume that since it's a dark background, that it's going to be uh, just like a, a cone light, uh, not a parallel light. Um, and so forth, and then just try to try to make it work. Um, I'm using um, just your uh, just a normal brush uh, that comes to vault, um, and uh, it's just a it's like it's 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 nothing special. It's just a black uh, uh, artboard, and I'm using um, the normal brush, standard default brush, and switching between uh, uh, between black and and white while I'm sketching, so just so I can quickly change between. Because of course, the the important thing of 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 digital painting is having a good workflow. You know, a, a good process by which you you f you follow, um, or by which you you make your sketches. Um, there are some things that I'm trying to keep in mind too. Like um, uh, there's this one other YouTuber guy who's who so you shouldn't zoom in when doing digital sketches. He has like this broken cigarette in his mouth. Awesome dude, I would recommend watching if you can find it. I really can't remember his name. I'm terrible with names. I really am terrible with names. But um, he does this professionally. This is something that I would hope to do professionally, maybe one day in the, in the distant future. Um, uh, once I've, I've acquired the necessary skill. Um, because this is, or even as a hobby, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be professionally. But this is something that I that I do enjoy. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to lie; it is it is difficult for me. I find it very very difficult to sketch, especially in in, re in recent times. There's just been so much stress, uh, stress, and and uh, I, I guess you could say sadness. Um, going on. This is too dark. That's way too dark. Let's just lighten that up a bit. So it's, I find it very challenging to draw because it, because of, of some stuff that's happened and with COVID. There's a lot of stress. Everyone's experiencing stress. You know, everyone's having a tough time and uh, everyone's been affected by it. Uh, I'm one of the more fortunate people. Like I still have a job, which I'm very grateful for. I, I'm still working. And um, yeah, the, the way I've been mostly affected is that it's been hard for me to draw. That's about it. But this is something. It's it's quite common for for artists to have difficulty, you know, a creative block and whatnot. So it's it is a challenge that. I'm pretty sure almost every creative face, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Even though you're still ashamed of it, <laughs> it's nothing to be ashamed of. Let's add some cracks here to his nose. Get those bones ready. So yeah, like I, I'm enjoying the the digital scene. It it is it is a different from traditional media's. I'm 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 a avid pen sketcher. So like I, I like working with pens. Um. But the problem now is that I have I have too much freedom with digital arts. Like I can, if I don't like something, I can just undo it. It's not with a pen, and I think this might actually harm like my pen sketching in the long term. Ah, oh, shucks! How long has this video been? Wow, you just get carried away. Okay, I think let's keep it 20 minutes from now. I think that would be safe. If you're still here, bless you. <laughs> um. Bless your soul for still being intrigued into my video. So I, I like doing this. So I, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with like Baroque paintings, like uh, like that of um, what's his name, Caravaggio. Um, you have these these. Oh, what is the word? There's a specific term in the art world for it. Um, where you have these. It's not chiaroscuro. Oh Lord, I'm butchering that. Um, but um, where you have these figures emerging from the darkness, that's something something that really intrigued me of, of Baroque art, um, and especially that of Caravaggio, um, who was also one of one of the artists that I 
that I do kind of like. Um, also, a very talented artist. Yeah, I, I like. I, I'm wondering, like, artists today actually, like, despite our struggles, uh, we actually have it much easier than like during the the 15th and 14th century of the Renaissance. Like, you know, if you, if you were like a 14 year old Leonardo, like you you couldn't just go into YouTube or or start up Photoshop and start doing your own thing. No, you had to go and find an apprenticeship. You, know, you had to go find a master um, who already knew the craft, who had learned it from someone before him, who is then willing to teach you the craft. Uh, and then you must dedicate yourself to that master if you want to pursue a life in the arts. And, I, and if I remember correctly, I think uh, his name was Verrocchio. He's the guy that taught Leonardo. But uh, uh, my lecturer told me a story. Like As the story goes, um, a 14-year-old Leonardo was asked to paint some angels for um, for Verrocchio. He's like, okay, um, here's this painting I've made. Um, it, it needs to be uh, finished off, so uh, I will leave the last few elements to you. You can clean clean it up. And he, he told them, okay, so uh, I need some angels here so you can paint those. And then Leonardo, a 14-year-old, do bear in mind, I'm not sure if this is true, but a 14-year-old Leonardo then painted the angels and it was amazing. So amazing that Caravaggio said, I will never pick up a paintbrush again. OG Leonardo at 14 painting so well that his master has disavowed painting. Is that the right word? Disavowed? Sworn of painting. And if I require, I don't think he's ever painted then again. He went into sculpting, of course. Yeah, still pursuing the arts because um, that's his life, that's his love. Why should he give it up for some kid? But I think that is admirable. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if the story is true. It would be very cool if it was true. But um, I'm not sure. How much time do we have left? Oh, it's 22. Oh, the time just flies. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this off on my own. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this is a good introduction to uh, Brandarum and what I'd like to do with it. Just sketching and talking having a conversation with the void and seeing if we get an answer. But thank you so much and uh, have a lovely day. And uh, keep sketching.